The carotid arteries are located between the larynx and medial to the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle, where they can easily be palpated. Gently place your thumb or the tips of your fingers to assess the character and volume of the pulsations, one side at a time. You can also auscultate for a carotid bruit using the diaphragm of your stethoscope. To assess the pulsations of the brachial artery, you need to flex the patient's elbow to reveal the tendon of the biceps brachii muscle. Use your thumb or index and middle fingers to palpate the brachial artery just medial to this tendon. Make sure to check both sides for the character and volume of the pulsations. The brachial artery is also the preferred site for taking an indirect measurement of the blood pressure. With the patient's right hand semi-flexed and semi-pronated, gently palpate the tendon of the flexor carpi radialis muscle. Place the tips of your middle three fingers just lateral to this tendon and feel the pulsations of the radial artery. Keep an eye on your watch. Assess the rate and rhythm for about 15 seconds and multiply by 4 if regular. If the pulse is irregular, check for a good 1 minute. A two-finger method is also acceptable. Follow the same process for the patient's left radial pulse using the tips of either two or three fingers. Assess the rate and rhythm of the arterial pulsations. But this time, also make sure to check the radio-radial symmetry like this. A delay between the bilateral radial pulses suggests a narrowing of the aorta proximal to the left subclavian artery. While assessing the radial pulsations, we can also check for a collapsing pulse by placing the base of the fingers over the radial pulse and asking the patient regarding any arm or shoulder restrictions. If none, raise the patient's arm vertically above their head and assess for a sudden collapse in the pulse wave form. The femoral artery is palpated at the mid-inguinal point located halfway between the anterior superior allex spine and the pubic symphysis. Using the pads of your index and middle fingers, assess the pulsations for their volume. Make sure to check for a radiofemoral delay as seen in a coarctation of the aorta. Assess both sides using the same method. This method is particularly helpful in locating the femoral artery in obese patients. With the patient recumbent and the knees flexed at 30 degrees, wrap your hands around the knee or alternatively place your thumbs on the tibial tuberosity. Deeply palpate and assess the popliteal artery against the back of the tibia like this. This artery is particularly hard to feel, so make sure not to hurt the patient. First of all, locate the tendon of the extensor hallucis longus by asking the patient to dorsiflex the great toe. Lateral to this prominent tendon is the first web space. Using the pads of your index and middle fingers, Feel the pulsations of the arterior dorsalis pedis in this triangular space. Now, repeat the same process for the opposite side. Diminished or absent pulses are an important sign of peripheral arterial disease.